Good morning and welcome back to Summit Railway. The project on hand right now is to start the wiring for signals, train occupation system, lights and so on. So we need to dig up most of that gravel, lay some wiring underground and feed it into the secondary electrical box which is behind this wall. We will start prepping the wiring on this side of the railroad crossing and since I was planning ahead I've got a underground conduit which comes out of the ground right here and it feeds the wiring to this corner of the building. So what we need to do is to feed in a pulling wire and then we can pull the wiring through the conduit. That was easier than I expected. Here is the pulling wire. Now I need to prep the different wiring. We've got uh, outbound signals, inbound signal, one lantern, the switch motor and uh, some track connections to make. I will prepare the wiring and lay it across here so I get the right length. The cables are in place, as you can tell. Now I can go ahead and make the track connections. I need to fit isolating connectors around this switch and one more up here in front of the entry signal. The wires are roughly in place. We've got one and two, well, there it is, two outbound signals. We've got three wires. One is for a lantern, one is for a, the switch motor, and one is for a, a shunting signal. All of that I don't have right now. No, correction, I do have the lantern and I will install it later on. And down here, we've got another three wires. You can see the isolating connector right here. This will be the inbound signal for the whole station. Here is the track feeder for the section of track between this isolating connector and the switch. And then we've got the uh, main power supply for the rest of the layout, which will coming up next year. 
Now I will be installing this inbound signal since I have it on hand. And just like that we've got a lantern so that we can see the switch at night and we've got the inbound signal for the station which is placed very scenic. I like the, um, the place where it sits and now I will install a bumper at the end. This line will go through but uh, I will expand the layout not until next year. So we will install a bumper and then I can backfill and this section of the station will be done. Okay, this area is finished up for now. Since I don't have any more signals, uh, I'm not able to make more progress in this area. But up here we have a whole bunch of wiring to do. So it basically comes down to fitting isolating connectors between the switches, feeding wires for the signals and uh, connecting the track power and since you have seen that over and over again I will make a nice time-lapse and get to work <laughs>
it has been a couple of hours, but I now have made some major progress. As you can tell, the wiring in the front part of the station is bundled up and partially connected. I've installed two lanterns and one shunting signal. This is um, a little specialty. Um, normally German signals stay on the right side of the track. So this signal is for this track. But as you can imagine, when the grass gets mowed in the summertime and the signal is on the right side, uh, it won't live long, I suppose. So my com compromise is to set it to the left side of the track. But other than that, it looks pretty nice. I'm now ready to backfill and then I have to tackle this mess. I now have to dig a channel and feed the wires underground and up into the electrical box. Good morning and welcome back to the wiring project. As you can tell, I've been to the hardware store and I've bought some um, drainage pipes. Yes, I said I will buy some proper stuff, but drainage pipe it is. So let's go ahead and assemble the pipes so I can feed the wiring through. I tried many different positions, but this is how it will be. We've got the main wiring harness going through that straight pipe. The Y is to feed in the wires from this underground wire casing, which has all the wiring from this section. That's the situation right here. We are nice and flush against the wall. I can use a 90 degree angle to go up above this cross member right here. Then we will go inside the building and shoot straight up to the uh, box right here.
Okay, I think we are ready to backfill. This is how it looks like right now. The gap in between the conduit and the pipe um, is covered up by some piece of uh, pond liner. And then the pipe goes up and into the building. That's it, at least the outside part is done. We've got some nice new gravel and I've placed two stones to protect the wire casing and to make it look a little bit better. This corner down here doesn't look bad either. The green will come up again and then the pipe will be mostly gone. So, with that out of the way, we can go inside and start wiring this up. This is what it looks like inside the building. Here you can see the pipe with the wiring going through the wall. And we need to go up here inside this electrical box. So, since it's very hard to film and work in this confined area, uh, I would say I finish it up and then I will show you afterwards. Okay, I hope you can see anything. It's pretty dark in here, but all the wires are f um, fed into the box. This looks nice and tidy. We've mounted the pipe, which goes outside right here. And down there you can see four wires which are also going inside the pipe. Those are from the digital central station and the general power from the power supply. All of that goes into this box and that will be the end of today's video. Next time we will outfit this box and um, make some wiring changes inside there but for today that's it i hope you have enjoyed it and we will see us in the next video bye